Welcome to another episode of Land Rats. This week's all about the little folding boat for a little big boat. We're gonna start off by building it and then we'll uh, take it out for a couple of spins, test it a bit, so uh, stay tuned and uh, let's start. Are you tired of having too much money? Well, head on over to our Patreon. Here we've got all the wood for our dinghy that we're building. It's a foldable dinghy that we want to put on the side of the boat so it doesn't take too much space. Um, I'm about to finish off some of this wood. My brother glued everything into position. I'm going to finish some of this wood off and then see if I can varnish it. After spending all day sanding it, all the pieces are are looking good now. So I've got them laid out in here, all the way through here. Just because it's the weather, I don't know, it, sometimes it rains, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm going to varnish them quickly so the first coat is done tomorrow morning. And then we can just continue for three coats. So we can continue with the next part of the boat. After days of varnishing all these pieces of wood, it was finally time to put this boat together and I was super excited for that. Now it's time for the row blocks. So uh, I just made two pilot holes here. Maybe gonna use a bigger drill for that quickly as well. And then I'm gonna glue them into the position here that I've already made holes for. Okay, they're all glued in. This is where it's gonna have to wait until I'm ready to work with the side panels again. Now, you can see over there, we bought two meters of stainless steel hinge that I quickly have to cut into sections so I can put the keel um, onto the floorboards. Here's our hinges, and I'm just gonna make some holes in them quickly. Okay. 
finally time to start with the hinges so uh, it's raining outside so I'm gonna do it in here so uh, let's go now it's time to quickly fit the floorboards onto the onto the little dinghy so uh, let's have a go at that The floorboards are in. I'm gonna replace some of these screws with, uh, yeah, yeah. but um, I think we also need to sand down these points because it's not closing. Oops, it's not closing completely. Uh, I'll see to do that quickly. After attaching the floorboards, it was finally time to put over our little top and turn it into an actual working boat. Here's our tarp. I'm quickly gonna cut a couple of pieces here before I start fitting it on the boat. Now I've just got to fit some trimming bits on here and then uh, we're good to go test it out in the waters. Spent some more time with the dinghy putting up the final trimmings and stuff. Now we've got to see if it, if it floats. And the closest thing we've got to water here is over there. Looks like uh, it floats, but um, there's a couple of small water leaks still coming from the sides. So I'll probably have to remove all the trimmings and uh, just Des seal them up again. Seal them. Mm. But uh, I think it looks good. Mm. Floats. Takes floats. my way. Yeah. Even with the water yeah. leaks, not taking in extra water at the moment. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. Let's get both in. Both get. In. Time for the big guy. Permission to come aboard, Captain. <laughs> Granted. <laughs> well, looks like it holds us. Yeah. And we can get some more in. Who else can come in? Yeah. Our requirements for a dinghy was six drunken sailors. <laughs> yeah. Now it's two. Huh? Just a couple of small leaks. Uh, Captain, I think we're sinking. Eventually. We're at the river now to test it, so I'm quickly going to show you how easy it is to uh, fold up.
now it's time for launch 2.0 i fixed all the the leaks on the side well i thought i did so uh we'll quickly test and see if it is still leaking We've spent a couple of hours now with the boat on the water. It's not, uh, it's not the ocean, just a little a river. But um, some final thoughts is that the motor that we got, that we kept from selling my old yacht, that uh, we sold a couple of months ago, is a bit too big for the uh, dinghy. It's too heavy and the shaft is too long, so I don't think it works too well. Especially with my weight and my dad's weight and the weight of the motor, I think we're, uh, it's a bit heavy. So we'll have to maybe make a plan. We're actually reconditioning one of these old motors that we had laying around like this. Um, that's hopefully it'll work a bit better. But if that doesn't work out, we'll just get ourselves an electric trolling motor or something and um, use that because then we don't have to keep petrol on the boat either. The other thing is the row blocks that we put on are way too big for the oars. So it's difficult to, to row. It keeps popping out. So probably have to replace those with smaller ones, unless they're the right ones and we're just really, really suck at rowing. Um, lastly, if we get to the ocean, we're using this in the, in the marina or the harbor and um, it turns out this thing isn't useful at all. We'll just get inflatable like everybody else. Maybe put a sailing rig on it and just mess around with it while we're cruising or uh, get rid of it, get ourselves inflatable. I don't know. Time. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you've got any questions about the folding dinghy or you want us to check anything or uh, list any specifications, uh, just ask us in the comments below. Like, subscribe, check out our other links. We'll see you next week. Cheers.